It was a long off season, but the green flag fell on the seventh annual icebreaker with the Budweiser Super Late Models, Engine Pro Super Stocks, Model Cover All Modifieds, the Coors Light Sportsman, Four Cylinders, and the Vintage Racing Organization of America all in action for a six and one full featured night. Well, the ice was broken early in the icebreaker. Things heated up on the racetrack with just a couple minutes left in Super Late Model qualifying. Longtime racing veteran Leroy Magoon backs his number 11 Super Late Model into the turns three and four wall. Hard impact in the car explodes in a spectacular ball of fire. Leroy was able to get the belts off, get himself out of the seat, and jump out of the right side of the car, down the banking, and into safety on the Berlin Raceway infield. Safety crew on the spot putting out the fire. The car heavily, heavily damaged. The good news is Leroy is A-OK. -okay. The Vintage Modifieds were first with three yellow flags. A new track record set down on the track, but on the beginning, right at the start, Joe Mazey, Mike Owen Dag, and Randy Pearson and others all tangle in turns three and four. Several cars would not be able to continue. More side-by-side -side action. Don Smith spins at turn number one at lap number 16, and then it was a full-fledged finish towards the end. Tom Borsma comes and wins the Pearson car, the number 21 sheet machine. Jason Burris is second. Todd Cowan third. Brian Bukema uh, rounds out the top four. And the Coors Light Sportsman Division. Strong field takes off. Kirk Meiser, with one of the best runs of his career, takes off on the pole position, leads several of the first laps. Justin Thomas spins in lap number four, setting up a caution flag early on. From then, it was more side-by-side -side racing between West and Jewett. Randy Veldman all took turns at the front, but Billy Shotko, after several years away from the track, strong in the 44 car, takes home the checkered flag. West and Jewett was second, Randy Veldman third, Jerry Shepard fourth, and Brian Tomey rounds out the top five. The model cover all modifieds. They were up next for their feature, and another fast time knocked down for his debut in the 97 car, Josh Fry. Strong field takes the green flag, but before we got underway, Billy Epic off from the start, breaks down and turns number one and two. He'd, he would spend the rest of the night in the pits, unable to continue. Mark Nienhaus having a solid run till smoke out of the white number 11. Black flagged him, and he would be unable to continue after continued work in the pits. Skirmish a little bit later on in the race, Zach Clark gets together with Kalamazoo's Mike Brooks. Brooks able to continue to recover for a top five finish. Zach Clark would be in and out of the pits with damage, and his night was over in the number nine machine. But Kevin Agood, after a tough off season, after last, the end of last year having some difficulty, he came back in a big way. The number seven goes to the victory lane. Josh Fry ends up second with his fast time uh, set. Chad Clark was third, Mike Brooks fourth, and Dave Davinon rounds out the top five, and the model coverall modifies. Then we went Engine Pro Super Stocks, and Brian Tillema, former track champ, picked up right where he left off in the 76. He runs fast time. Green flag falls and right out of the gate. Right in turn number one, Tony Davis makes contact with Bob Bliss, Dave Hart involved, Tom Chase, Nick DeLongfrey, and Will Olmstead all involved in the accident. Bliss was able to recover. Hart and Olmstead were unable to continue. Single car incident, the red, white, and blue special. Rob Shoemaker spins by himself on the front stretch at lap number 12. Brian Tillema challenging for the lead up front. The car shuts down out of power with just six laps to go, and that gave the lead back to the veteran Denny Anderson from Walker. Anderson finds his way back to the victory lane after several years in a jubilant celebration in victory lane. Samantha Jansen was second, Bob Bliss third, Brian Wiersma and Nick DeLongpre round out the top five. Up next, the Budweiser Super Late Models for their 60-lap feature. Into lap four, strong field of cars, Van Heitzma. Tough season starts out even tougher. Van Heitzma out after just four laps. Car out of power and on pit road for the rest of the night. Good battles up front between Tim DeVos and Bryant Campbell, Lee Van Dyke all in the mix. Lap number 26, Ken Wabma, Scott Thomas get together. Contact between Lauren Bush and Scott. Both Scott and Lauren would be done for the night at lap number 26. Back under green flag racing, just get one lap in, and Evan Schottko and Ked Wamba tangle in turn number three and four. Both of those cars done for the night, and two more down as attrition hits in the super late model division. At lap number 25, Brian Campbell scoots past the veteran Tim DeVos, and he never looked back. It's another Brian Campbell dominating win. He leads the rest of the race, 47 back once again in victory lane. Chris Kosick was second, Tim DeVos third, Jordan Dulkey fourth, and Tom Thomas rounded out the top five. And to wrap up the evening of racing for the icebreaker, the Berlin four cylinders were at it once again. Jarrett Rodenheiser with one of the hardest hits of the night. Turn number two, the car destroyed. Thankfully, driver was able to get out. Car not so fortunate. He'll come back for another day. 
Corey Holtzlander, former track champion, shoots to the lead on a strong field of 20 cars. He goes to the lead at lap number 14. Seth Van Horsten, challenging for the lead, falls out just two laps later in lap number 16. When it was all said and done, the Holtzlander gang, they win one. Very happy in victory lane. The former track champ picks off one early in the 2018 season. Corey Holtzlander wins over Justin Ruloffs, Hector Garcia, Corey Pease, and Luke Gilhold. Up next week, we're back at it. It's college night. Dollar beer and dollar hot dogs. The Super Late Models back in action along with the Super Stock Sportsman's Mini Wedges for their first appearance in 2018 and the Four Cylinder Compact Series also in action. Ticket details, full schedule, always online. Check it out now. We'll see you next week. BerlinRaceway.com.